Modest Lifestyle. Welcome back to the channel. It's a reaction video. Who made it to the table? You and I were here. We're back like we never left. Let's see people everywhere. Quick reminder, if you love me, I love you back. I love you with I love you back to back. <laughs> Backpackers everywhere, lazy people everywhere. Where's my backpacker? Of course, one leg, one leg is in Cayman Island. We are still very much around Cayman Island. Another leg is in Ghana. Where the Maya, hey, where the Maya came for us. <laughs> I like when things like this happen. Me, <laughs> as soon as I saw this one, I said, You see, you see what we are talking about. Everybody, you go to the Maya's comment section, guys. Happy, happy Sunday to you. Oh, what is this? Coco Mama, take it easy. Why? Have you brought your people in? Grab whatever that is grabbable. I got a bottle of water here. So grab your champagne, red one, or gogoro, white one, yellow wine, anything of your choice, fruits, juice, anything, anything of your choice. Grab it, sharp, 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 sharp. Let's get this gist. Started. Hmm. Guys, well, the Maya is on this table. Coco Mama of the Most High, you. <laughs> we are the landlords here. No leave, no transfer. Where are we going to go? We die here. <laughs> on a more serious note, you guys should leave me alone. You see this one? Leave me because this reaction, I'm gonna <clears throat> throw it the way it is. I'm not gonna sugarcoat or try to make someone feel good. Why is our Maya clickbaiting like this? This clickbait eh, has one clickbait of the year. Like, and it is 2024. We will never see any clickbait of such. Well, the Maya took the first position. <laughs> hey, I laugh because I've seen people here attacking us. Oh, you and Black Beauty, your clickbait is becoming too much. What is this? I've always told you people, don't look at the container. Okay, look at the content. When you see a taxi, don't look at what is written on that taxi. Just go in, make yourself comfortable. That is what matters most. <laughs> With the Maya, click baited like nothing else. As soon as I saw quitting YouTube, I said, mm, With the Maya quitting YouTube, he has quitted in the past. He has quitted anyway, if you look at it, because I don't understand. For the past few months, ever since he left Africa and he went to Caribbean. I've not really understand his upload schedule. You understand? Some, you, you know, you begin to ask yourself, what is going on here? Those of us that don't have team, even though we have people in the background that do little, little editing that they don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> see, 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 see. I don't, I'm not here to come and complain or anything. It's not easy. There's always a starting point to everything. Even me, it's not like I know how to edit. But time doesn't permit, okay? He has a team. Then I asked myself, he went to Miami, left his woman there, okay? And ran back to Ghana. We started looking. All we're seeing is Maya's woman, half naked, right in front of others. <laughs> we said even though we love with the Maya, we must come here and spill it the way it is. There's something with the Maya said. With the Maya said, thank you all for being amazing. Thank you all for supporting me, my fans. Even those of you that fight for me, even when I'm wrong. I'm like, hey, hallelujah, somebody. Have you seen it, guys? And what the Maya was like, oh, if you have been there supporting me, even when I'm wrong, what does that tell you? Nobody is perfect. Mm? No, some of these guys here, not all of you, okay? Some of you guys here, you don't understand the game. You don't understand how it works here. I cannot come here. This one hour that I'm spending here, I must have used it even to relax, you know, doing what I love to do, doing other stuff, while in a way my time. I can do that rather than coming here and be pretending. Or if I see her talking from one side of my mouth, if I see black, I will say, hmm, it looks like black, but I think it's yellow. Nine. Not at this level, not at this age, this granny, eh, granny Coco, not at this level. I cannot come here and be lying to myself and lying to you guys. Budemaya understands the reaction more than anybody here. 
In the past, he has complained about the reactors. Oh, don't sit down, go out there, create content, go, you can do it your own. And later on, he acknowledged that reaction is a niche. Okay, <laughs> he realized his mistake and understand that it's a, a niche. Why am I saying this? Wodemeyer's woman is controversial. And Wodemeyer knows. You understand? There's a saying in my culture, Oye koteho, okodie kotelia. Meaning that you, you may be avoiding trouble and your dress will drag trouble for you. Maybe you are passing somewhere and people display their items, their goose. And because you are wearing one kind dress, before you know it, your clothes will be trapped in one of those items. And you have to start asking yourself, what is this? Hey, where do I start now? How do I pay for this thing? So there's a saying like that in my culture. Why am I saying this thing? Well, the man might not be as controversial as Mrs. Meyer, but his woman is dramatic, dramatic. You remember what she did at the airport when she was told she came with her entourage. So many people came to welcome her and she was corrected by the airport guys and she started throwing drama. Drama, 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 drama. Well, of course, viral content is not our mate. Guys, well, the man is coming back, but what I don't understand is him insisting that people must support him to take a plane to Barbados and back to Ghana, like a round trip. This is his wish. I became confused again because I know he clickbaited. In the beginning, he was like, oh, I know a time like this will come where I have to say goodbye. Oh, this is not a clickbait. Da, 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 da. And after a while, he said that he's going to be very, very consistent this time around. He's going to be uploading five times in a week, only Mondays and Thursdays. Now he has office in Ghana, okay, where his team will be very serious editing his content while he's out there back to back, you know, theming and creating content. He said all that. But what I don't understand is him stylishly activating donation, asking his one million subscribers to donate at least one dollar each. But the man, stop it. Stop it. Hey, have you seen how these things work? Well, the man knew very, very well that he needed to get to his audience. Now, title and thumbnail matter here. Mm? For him to get to his audience, he needs to make sure that the title is what? Catchy. The title will make you run. The title will make you drop whatever that you are doing and you are like, what am I gone? What is this? That's why he chose this title that he used. Did anybody come to his comment section to crucify him? Probably only a few of you guys told him the way it is and be like, what am I? Stop playing too much. What am I? What are you doing? What is this? We know you are not going anywhere. We know you can't. We know YouTube is your life. I mean, even if you're going to retire, even if you're going to quit YouTube, not this early. You understand? You have not even gone far that much to quit since 2012 till now. So 12 years, if I'm correct. Guys, let's watch with the Maya. I wonder, they say, shall never end. Now, when Coco Mama put her title, me, I don't even see myself like I'm clickbait, you know. I see myself like when I choose my title or when I do my thumbnail, it's something that I wish or something that I'm expecting to happen. Probably it's not happening. Like when I say, oh, this person is arrested or this person prepared this person. Let's say, for example, oh, Sean, I gave it to the Sean Alwa is on this table. <laughs> what that shall never end, guys. Mm. Sean is coming to defend her bestie. Sean came talking from one side of her mouth. Let's finish the Maya first. Let's watch what the Maya. But I believe that it's time for me to share this with you all. From the title of this video, I'm quitting YouTube. Today is not 1st April, so don't think that I'm here to lie to you or I'm here to fool you. This is the same favorite annoying village boy that has been on your screen from 2012 till today. No 
much for defending me even sometimes when I know I'm wrong, but I see you defending me every single day. Yes, I was away, but now I'm back. I'm back and make sure you turn on your notification if you are new to the channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, don't forget to turn on your post notification because the old water Maya is back. The energetic bubbly water Maya is back. I'll be so happy if the million subscribers that I have, each and every one will donate to make this course a reality. Water well, Maya, we must not donate to support you book or charter a flight from Ghana to Bebedos. We must not donate. You must not ask for donation. Do what you can do. Do what we've known you. Well, the man is a giver, guys. <laughs> I will always keep it real here. When it comes to empowering and inspiring and supporting, well, the Maya inspires a whole lot of people. He's not a selfish person. Mm -mm -mm. He's not a greedy person. He's not stingy. But him insisting that over 200 and something people must join him to make his dream. This is your dream, well, the Maya, not our dream. My dream may not be to come to Barbados. My dream may not be to take that trip. You understand? This is your dream. There's another thing that confused me. I don't understand what the Maya this time. Because he said, if you guys can make his dream come true, if you guys can make this possible, then he will know that he has achieved his aim on YouTube. Then he knows that now it's time for him to leave. So again, it looks like he wants to quit for real, okay? He's using this time to tell people that he's, he has been playing too much. He has been whiling away his time, that this is the time for him to come and become more consistent, more serious. People must turn on their bells because he's about to start dropping it with the water for us. Well, at the same time, he's saying, please make this dream come true. We want to bring not just guys from Barbados, not just the Caribbeans. He wants even the Africans to participate, even those in diaspora. Me, I don't understand this one. I have to be honest with you guys. I don't understand it, but we move. Now, have you seen that there's no point to you, if I give my opinion here and it's negative towards Maya or his wife, most of the times, his wife. Not that Maya. Maya is not perfect. Like the way I'm condemning him now and telling him that he must not beg. He must not ask for one dollar. Mm -mm -mm -mm. let, let people okay, share your dreams. Share your plan. Let your audience support if they want to. Let people on their own be like, you know what? I'm going to buy 10 tickets for 10 people to make this possible. One dollar is nothing. But don't Come and make it like, oh, as little as one dollar. This is what we have seen with Baba Marwa. Baba Marwa has done stuff like this in a Yabuhanze, whereby he was telling his audience, oh, this money that we are using to buy expensive branded stuff, you can use it to send a child to school in Kenya. As little as one dollar can go a long way. No, you guys should stop this. Well, Maya, I don't know you as someone who begs. Rather, I know you as someone who inspires okay <laughs> so nobody is perfect in this life when i share my opinion here don't look at it like i'm hating because even the person your person you are defending knows that he's not perfect your person knows that <laughs> sometimes he messes up or even his woman messes up. So don't come and start attacking. Don't come and be like, you know what? I subscribe to your channel because of Wodemaya. I'm going to unsubscribe now. Well, you don't subscribe to my channel because of someone. Because that person that made you to subscribe to my channel, tomorrow I might have something bad to say. So you're going to be like this, hot and cold. Subscribe because you can relate with me. Subscribe because you love my person, no matter what I do. Just like what Wodemaya is saying to his audience you guys have been there for me even when i mess up even when i ran away i left my wife in miami and again my wife uh, of course my wife was there messing 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 up even threatening to sue airline you know doing all sorts of nonsense mm? that didn't make sense to us and of course we can see guys we are not here for a particular community we are not even here for kenya it happens that we dwell more 
in Kenya. Content. It happens that we dwell more in Kenyan stuff, okay? We do more of Kenyan content, but we are everywhere. I remember Cora Obidi, okay? When Cora divorced her husband, I was supporting and supporting Cora throughout. My reaction is still there, okay? I supported Cora to core because I didn't like how just after she put to bed, you know, when she needed love so much. Imagine a woman carrying pregnancy for nine months when she put to bed with all the physical, emotional trauma and stress that she has gone through. Then a man is asking for divorce. That's the time that the man knows that you are a bad woman, that he must leave you. So for that reason, I did not support Dr. Dean at all, at all, at all. But currently, she started begging, asking people for donations. Oh, come over to YT and donate. Come over to YT and give me super thanks because Facebook demonetized. I came here and I condemned. So reaction can be negative and positive. Guys, let's move ahead ahead. Let's move to Shona. Sean Arwa. Again, guys, guys. Sean Arwa is a joker, guys. Sean Arwa dropped the video and was like, oh, clearing it all. There's a lot going on. Oh, I'm a private public person. I don't share everything about my marriage because I feel doing that, my marriage will work. Doing that, I will not have problem. Da, 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 da. D is a very, very lovely person. The way Shona spoke is as if Shona wants to go back to Jamaica. Now, <laughs> Shona claimed that two things made her to leave. Her husband pranked her and told her that there was an emergency, that she needed to come back. And again, her passport, she couldn't leave Jamaica to go to another country because her passport page is full. So she needs to go get a new passport. Don't they have Kenya embassy in Jamaica? I don't get it. Anyways, that is not even that. She lied. She lied because we, not just the reactors, even her audience, they know the truth that is there. The truth is, is not what she expected. D started misbehaving when she got there. D treated her like shit. And now she didn't want to come out to own it. Because there's no way, of course, there's no way Sean. Guys, remember what happened to Joyce? When Joyce left the Yabuhanze. When Joyce's was there, it was all about praises. Oh, these guys are so nice. Oh, these guys are the best. Oh, even when she left and she went back to London and she was sick, she tried to open up by using one kind title. Her thumbnail and her title was like as if she was about to open up how she was treated there. And again, she started saying, oh, they're amazing. Oh, this, oh, that. Now she's coming back to claim that Baba Marwa is threatening her. Have you seen the thing? Sean Arwa now, because she started by bragging that she's big on TikTok, she's big on IG. We know that she's big there, uh, but these other apps will not pay you. Mm? You can be 10 million there. You can have 10 million subscribers there, and you don't even end up to $10. Except people give you donations or oh, super thanks. There's a way, but it's not like, it's not programmed like YT, whereby at least at the end of the month, if you have huge views and following, at least you are sure that you will make something at the end of the month. It's not like that. Of course, YT, when it comes to paying, is the best. So I don't understand why Sean was trying to brag that again, indirectly saying that it's not true D. Like she was trying to say that, again, trying to say that she has been a popular person. She has been a big fish even before she did stuff with D. <laughs> Come straight, Sean. Don't be going corner corner. Don't talk from both sides of your mouth, Sean. Come straight. Guys, this girl, <laughs> the only thing I love there is she marrying to a Nigerian. She admitted that Okay, because we are into heavily, heavily into spices, African spices. We use a lot of spices and some of them, the smell 
might not be pleasant. She said that it's rude for you to say that, oh, this thing smells bad. I remember Miss Trudy's brother, you know, coming for West Africa, that we eat a lot of spices because our weather is very hot. So that is a way of us preserving our food so that our food will not get spoiled. And I'm like, hey, so does it mean that we don't use refrigerator? What is he talking about? Uh, we are using a lot of spices to cook because our food will get spoiled easily. Does it mean that we cannot preserve our food in the fridge, Yanni? So I like the fact that she's respecting the culture where she's married into. She smelt this. There's another one we call lotus beans or givi. She smelt it and she was like, mm, you don't say it smells bad. You say this is not a familiar smell. Kudos to her on that one. But is she pretending? She's lying. She's pretending a lot. You can't tell me anything. Sean is trying to make everything, you know, smooth out everything. I won't be surprised if she goes back to Jamaica. Okay. Again, why lying that the same guy that you were complaining that you expected to see when you got to London, okay? Getting to London, you didn't see him. But he's, at the same time, he's the same person that told you that there was an emergency, that you must come back. It's not making sense, guys. This girl is not even listening to herself. Hear her bragging. I'm big already. Like, it's not D that made me who I am. Again, she's saying that D is amazing. Stop it, Shona. If you don't want to talk about how, of course, what all of us, if you don't want to address this issue between you and D, how she rubbished you, how she treated you, how she would ignore you, how she abandoned you and she was doing her own thing. She left you like you were lost. That's how we saw you. If you don't want to address all that, you better leave it than lying. You did not leave because of these two reasons. I said it with my full chest, guys. Sean did not leave Jamaica because of these two reasons. Probably she left because her man became jealous. You get what I mean? <laughs> that one, I can agree. But saying that, oh, my man lied to me that there's an emergency that I must come back. The same guy that lied to you that there was an emergency. Hmm? You were expecting him to pick you at the airport. You didn't see him. Like Yanni, you are not aware. At the same time, you left London to Africa. You were not worried. Like, where is my husband? Guys, this guy is a joker. For example, I'm where I am now, and my husband is somewhere. And I'm expecting, you know, when I get there, that I must see my husband. Getting there, my husband that I spoke to, okay, on the phone, my husband that I've been in contact with, on getting there, if I did not see him, there's no way I will leave London. For example, this girl doesn't know how to lie. There's no way. You were looking for your husband. You, you didn't know that your husband left London to Kenya to go surprise you, okay? To give you this surprise of your life. <laughs> you didn't know all that. And you still left UK without your husband. So it means that the marriage is not stable. That's what it means, because if truly, truly, she was not aware that her man was going to surprise her, there's no way she would leave London. She will make sure that she's aware. Now, have you seen why I said that this was not a surprise? She knew everything. It was all planned out. Like, she knew everything that happened. I think her man at some point told her, you know what, just come back. It's not working for you. Just come back. Are you going to tell me that before Sean left, she was not aware that her passport pages, she has exhausted her passport pages. She is not aware of this, that she was going to leave Jamaica and travel to another country. She's not aware of all this. Stop it, Shona. Stop it on a more serious note. Keep quiet. Get out of here. Get out of here. Barra, barra, barra. You don't have to do this. You don't have to, honestly speaking. Go back and keep licking her ass. Go back and keep taking this nonsense from her. As long as we are here, if we see, we will talk about it. I will see. I will, will, will. On a more serious note, you guys should leave me alone. Let's listen to her. 
just want to dive right into this video. There has been a lot of miscommunication, misunderstanding, misinformation. A lot of rumors have been going on spreading left, right and center. And this is what I have decided to do. It's about time we set the record straight. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the bitter truth. Let's talk about the ugly stuff, the beautiful stuff, so that we can understand what is really going on. There are some people who might think that I just came from nowhere. The people who, who knew me through D. And they're like, oh, she just appeared. No, I have been um, an influencer for a very, very long time. You can actually follow me on TikTok. Uh, my main platform has been TikTok for a very long time. We are almost at a million followers on TikTok. Oh my good God. Can you, can you imagine? We, I, I have a public-private relationship. When I say public-private, I mean I'm not hiding the fact that I am married, but I'm not going to be putting every detail about my marriage out there because I believe that's the way to make your marriage last because I'm, 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 I'm a very, very, very private public person, okay? Private in that I am very picky when it comes to what I put out there. I don't just put everything of my life, every nitty-gritty out there. So my husband and I are very safe, very happy together, and that's just about it okay so when i went to london i was so furious because i didn't find my husband there i thought like what what is going on here <laughs> and guys i'm telling you i called my husband and i was like what happened why didn't you come and pick me and it was like eh, i got some emergency and all that i didn't want to explain that in camera because i was like eh, that's our personal life only for me to come to kenya and find out that my husband has had been trying to surprise me so you see the good thing of not putting everything in the public imagine if i came to you guys and i would have been ranting and going going like oh my husband is not a good person my husband decided to abandon me in london or oh, my husband did show up and then only for me to come here and find out that he's been trying to surprise me you get it so i'm such a private and public person and i left jamaica for two main reasons one i wanted to go to a different country okay i wanted to go to a different country if people are bright you will realize me and my friend or my friend and i were supposed to travel to a different country in caribbean but now i realize that the passport is almost full almost it was left two pages were left and then it's it's gonna be full and when your passport is full you are, you are not able to to move from one country to another because now how are you gonna are you where will they stamp so i needed to go back home and correct that so that's why i'm here and that's why i'm saying i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna be here for a little a little time just a little bit just a, just a little bit so bear with me that's the first reason the second reason my baby wanted me to come over and know that he's here like to give me a surprise so they liars with my sister and told me that there's an emergency back home so i had to leave jamaica immediately so let's move to cayman island madam d met up with this guy jamaican caymanian caymanians <laughs> you guys should leave me alone on a serious note i don't wanna leave me this guy has a business okay he's into car washing business guys know very very well that d when it comes to men if you don't have lamborghini you must have something that looks like lamborghini she is what she is nothing a village girl with no <laughs> hey a village girl in boutique we would call this kind of a person in my coach in boutique you can see that she's typically typically a village 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 girl but yet she is what High maintenance, Yanni. She's expecting too much when she cannot even give anything. Okay. This guy that met up with D took D for lunch and everything. He's a YouTuber. You can tell that D is not into this guy. D is after, you know, telling us meeting the billionaires. Of course, chasing clouds. She's only after telling us, oh, I've met this billionaire in Kema or chilling with billionaires in Kema. Oh, a billionaire invited me, those kind of stuff. No, 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 no. If you are still upcoming, if you are still in the middle there, eh, you are not into her. This is how she treats this Jamaican guy that she met in Cayman. This guy, you can tell that he's nice to her, taking her around, took her for lunch, showing her places, you know. What I don't understand is why they were collaborating. Of course, what do you think? If you make yourself nothing, mm -hmm. whoever that is around you will even help you by rubbishing you more. Why did I say that? This guy kept recording this bomb bomb. <laughs> you go to this channel, you will only see 
her frontal side okay because she has the same video on her channel why this guy was focusing on her bum bum guess what he made sure that he recorded her nakedness he made sure that he recorded the, the way she embarrassed herself without covering her body he recorded all that and posted it on his channel <laughs> hey i'm gonna let you guys see I guess because I'm I'm walking with Princess D, I can go anywhere. That is my city. I go anywhere. Yeah, Princess D. I tell them I am a superstar. Okay, I'm going to change the hand for you. Actually, you are most welcome. Okay. It's almost over. Yeah, it's almost over. Let me cut. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was there. Hey, the respect they gave me is just like Jamaica. I was yeah. in top, top, top yeah. wedding and I was given the top, top seat. Whoa. Guys, go watch my Indian so Indian vlogs, not songs. Indian <laughs> vlogs. What do you think? How do you think they will feel seeing this? Hmm? This is it. You are a content creator. You think it's only about your camera, your GoPro camera. You forget that someone around you will still be recording and you don't have control on what the person records okay that's why you need to be sure that's why you need to respect yourself and dress appropriately you need to cover up otherwise you will see stuff like this it's not on her channel she did not show this on her channel but of course this guy shared this and i'm very very sure if D will see this clip definitely she might ask this guy to delete this video and it's up to the guy the guy might decide no 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 i'm not gonna why why did you dress like this why did you leave your bum bum outside like this why didn't you cover up why on that sophia perhaps let's end it with coco girl guys coco girl shared if coco girl shared old video she did in miami because currently i know she's in jamaica jamaica miami these guys will not finish us of course she shared this video she did when she was in miami she was actually on the street she slept on the street she met this oibo guy that seems like this guy is interested in coco girl this guy was telling coco girl stuff like oh what are you up to this evening what are you planning to do this night hey i'm like so homeless people are also like expecting another homeless person to kick out something with them outside and like i don't get it <laughs> what well, that shall never end guys anyway coco girl claims of course because we're always complaining about coco girl always going to worse places in every country that she visits so she took this blanket that we didn't take note of when she bought it so likely she picked this blanket from somewhere okay she handed it over to this guy she claimed that she slept outside and i'm looking at her i'm like the way i feel about it i don't think coco girl slept outside but of course she's acting what do you think this one has become like a movie um and then i heard her saying stuff like oh i need to pee i'm looking for a bush looking for a bush in miami coco girl <laughs> guys i'm tired i'm tired of coco girl looking for a bush in miami to go pee you are a travel content creator you are making any this girl has actually destroyed her brand this is how me i see it you think you are doing this so that people will feel sorry for you and people will be like oh she's homeless oh she can sleep outside oh this you're doing all this to look cheap or uh, for people to, uh, so that your video will go viral and all that. You don't know that actually you behaving this way, you are actually killing your whole thing. You are actually destroying your brand by acting this way. This is exactly what Coco Girl has done to herself because now nobody takes her serious. You understand? You look at her, you look at her like a serious person who doesn't know what she wants. There are cheap accommodations. She can even go to shared bed or sh she can even go to a shared accommodation, get a bed space or something. 
than acting like this. Oh, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to use this. Someone was asking me, have you noticed that she's always with her pepper spray? Of course, pepper spray. Pepper spray, everywhere she goes, she's with a knife. She will even show it that she got this knife. But not even one single incident we have witnessed. What do you think? You think if somebody tries to attack Coco Girl, she will not film that? She will. This is my personal bag. Most important bag, it will be on me. On me. Um, yeah, I don't know what I this bag, I'm going to put my hand inside because someone can take my bag and run. So I'm going to put it inside my body. I'm going to tie it to my body to make sure that we are safe. Yeah, man. Good night. I will see you in the morning. Morning. Seven o'clock in the morning. Six fifty-five, and yeah, it was cold. I, I cannot wait to back to my van again. I have van. You will see soon. But yeah, this is was the vibe. I'm so lucky that I buy the, the blanket and yeah man I need I need a bush I need to pee Yeah Good morning We did it We finished the night and successful It was okay we are safe just need to know the way back home. So yeah, it's there. Uh, home? I, I just say home now? I, I just say home? I don't have home. I mean that I'm going to... I'm going to the park. Where is my van in? Um, I just supposed to enter to the van in 11 in the morning. But yeah, good morning, Miami. Good morning, Miami. Um, so I was sleeping outside, I was sleeping close to the police station. Yeah, good. How are you? Okay. Where did you sleep? I sleep between two garbage cans down the block. Nice, I can, just yesterday I buy myself blanket. I can bring you my blanket. Yeah, sure. You will enjoy from it. It's clean, sure. I just used it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, you need your blanket. Yeah, of course. It really helps. So that's it, you, you will not feel cold in the night yeah, anymore. You. For sure. So all the time that I'm, I'm, I'm passing here, you greet me. So what do you, what do you, what do you, when, what do you do tonight? No, tonight I'm going back to my van. Basically it was uh, one day okay. for trying to get to know the, to try this life. Okay. And to, to get to know you, to get to know those people. Okay, okay, good. So I'm happy that I have the opportunity to talk with you right now. Oh, good, 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 good. It's okay? You feel good? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. I'm happy. Be safe, okay? Thank you. I love you. Peace. Peace. I love you too, my brother. Thank you. One love. Yeah. Good day. Bye. Bye. So, all the time that I'm passing... Before we call it a day, guys, let's end it with Joyce. Joyce is the lady from UK. She's from Liberia and she came to Yabahanse, of course, uninvited. Yeah, and she decided to come there, grow her channel. Like most guys that go close to Mr. Kenge. Where is Mr. Kenge? Before I forget, what is going on? Unlike Mr. Kenge, Mr. Kenge will not stay a day without posting. Not possible. Why am I still having a feeling that this dude, the video he shared last time was old video, okay? Of him and Roro Roro. Why am I having a feeling that Roro Roro, hey has disappeared i'm very very serious and baba marwa cannot take it of course he's gonna shock him he will even regret why he left the village with her if she's gonna disappear because i don't understand her phone was stolen through her subscribers they contributed money and bought a new iphone for her so why are they not posting i don't get it why are they not consistent like 
why is Baba Marwa not posting? We can understand Rororo is not the type that posts all the time. But we expected them to be, now that they are out of the village, we expected them to be dropping more content. What is going on? Anyway, that is by the way. We don't know, but we will know. <laughs> we will know the tingle with time. With time, the tingle will come out. Joyce is now is claiming that Baba Marwa is threatening her. Baba Marwa is that kind of a person that wants people to, he wants to recruit people, he wants people to fight for him, defend him, and if you fail to do that, he will come after you. Me, this is a BS, because this girl, this lady, this mama, the first thing she did when she came to Yabahanze was to attack us. Then I came to realize that actually she got some mental issues. She is sick, okay? I think she should focus more on her health than coming to claim these things. Someone wrote to you and someone threatened you on IG. Someone wrote to you and threatened you. How come? How are you concluding already that this is Baba Marwa? How sure are you? Okay, he wants to recruit you. Did he recruit you when you came? Of course, no. When you decided to bad mouth and call us evil, call us names, insult me of cheating on my husband, when you did all that, who recruited you, madam? Stop this nonsense. Guys, this lady is supposed to be focusing on her health. That's what I want to say here. Rather than coming to embarrass herself more and more and more. I'm not saying that she shouldn't speak up. But you can't say this one today. Tomorrow you are saying another thing. What made her not to share all this? All her bad experiences when she left. What made her not to open up? Oh, she wants to defend the Marawas. Oh, she wants to make them look relevant. She wants to be loyal, according to what she said. Now, what is going on? Mama, stop it. Someone wants you to fight for him. Someone wants you to defend him. And you choose not to. That is it. That is it. You know the thing. You must not come and throw drama here and there. Uh, they are threatening, threatening you. Meanwhile, you are in a different continent. And they are threatening you like as in how? How? <laughs> Guys, I don't even want to bring her clip here because you know what? I'm tired. My tired is tired. If you watch this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. Thank you all for coming in today to support Coco Mama like you always do. Thank you for your love, your support, like, dislike, was, was, orishi, 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 orishi. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom, bottomest of my heart. Do not forget to give this video. Thumbs up. Let me allow you to shower. Drop it for me. I'm not asking you for one dollar. <laughs> I'm not asking you to take someone from Nigeria to Yankee. I'm not asking you that. Mm. Guys, uh, YouTubers will not fail to amaze us here. Honestly speaking. <laughs> My wish is to go somewhere or to take someone somewhere and I must come and beg in order to do that. This guy should stop. This guy, what am I stop this? This guy should stop this thing because it's not looking good. Mm. Have you dropped the likes for me? Because Mama, it's as if I'm starting all over again. <laughs> hey. On a more serious note, I'm going to see you all in my another Woto Woto. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. Bye, guys. Slow wine, put it on me. No, you're like that, she my brother. We gon' live forever. On the island, to the mainland. Pulling up, bring up, bring up.